Hello and welcome to HMI 2021. My name is Tony Pisani. I'm a product manager at Cisco for Edge Intelligence. As my colleague Sri just mentioned, Cisco is a machine builder program that encompasses both hardware and software capabilities. I'm going to talk to you a bit about Edge Intelligence and how Cisco software can help make your IoT journey easier and faster. With introductions out of the way, let's get started. We all know that data drives outcomes. And we all know that what gets monitored or what gets measured gets monitored and what gets monitored gets done. With that said, edge compute is how that becomes possible. It's been said that by 2025, 75% of the data being created will be processed outside of a traditional data center, which means all of this data will be processed and managed at the edge. There's a lot of complexities that stand in the way of, of a successful IoT project. Remote sites and locations are a problem. How do you I get network connectivity in all of these locations? Uh, how do I simplify the, the extraction of data from my industrial devices? Once I have that data, where do I send it? And how do I get it to the right location, to, to the right analytics platform, or to the right um, and then into the right hands of the right people. Uh, and then finally, sort of multi-vendor integration. Right now, uh, it takes a lot of vendors. And when there's a problem, everybody looks to the other person to solve the problem. These four areas is what Cisco can really sort of help uh, OEMs and, uh, and machine builders really cut through uh, the hassles. With the multi-vendor integration piece, it's one vendor, it's Cisco. Cisco takes care of the network, it takes care of the, the security, it takes care of the connection to the cloud, and uh, it takes care of the software and the extraction of the data from your equipment. The many destination uh, concept. So we have this idea of uh, data sh shouldn't be tied to a cloud. Data should be able to f freely flow through the network. So we have integrations with uh, platforms and, and, and cloud providers like AWS, Azure, Cumulosity IoT platform, uh, PTC ThingWorks IoT platform, the Quantilla uh, Atlantis platform. And finally, if, if those aren't uh, will work for you, we have uh, a generalized MQTT uh, destination capability as well. The heterogeneous protocol support, we build that in. It becomes a point and click uh, solution. We have OPC UA, MQTT, Modbus, Ethernet, uh, EIP, CIP, uh, NTCIP, DSRC, Serial, and uh, many others. With remote sites and locations, Cisco hardware uh, can take it, can take care of the networking capabilities, VPN capabilities, we have uh, equipment that uh, can connect via cellular, it can connect via fiber, it can connect via ethernet, it can connect via uh, DSL. Uh, so again, whatever kind of uh, uh, connectivity is, is or is not at the site, our hardware can make sure that we can uh, provide that network connectivity. So let's keep moving on. Let's jump into the solution itself. So we have this uh, four sort of step repeatable process, the extract, transform, govern, and deliver process that edge intelligence enables. Um, as we move over toward the center of the screen, uh, we have our, our field assets, or, or that's the equipment that you know you have uh, you have built as a machine builder or an OEM. Uh, simply put a Cisco piece of hardware, uh, into your device. We have the built-in connectors to extract this data with point-and-click uh, ease. Uh, you would do that uh, at the time of uh, setup or, or design. Uh, and then if you need to repeat that a thousand times over, uh, you can just reuse uh, those extraction properties or, or that extracted data model. And then uh, as we start to you know talk about the data ingestion and, and what do we do at the edge, 
we have this transformation engine which converts raw data into um, intelligent data or intelligent information. We can do things like downsample for if it's a metered connection like a cellular device. Uh, so you're not uh, you know, sending a, a whole bunch of data that, that isn't providing a, a lot of value because it's, it's, it's the, the readings are, are the same or they're within normal conditions. But within the transformation engine, we can downsample, but then we can also do range validation, anomaly detection, uh, and and you know, just rule based um, uh, anomaly detection, and when we do that, we can then send anything that's out of normal operating conditions or or normal bounds uh, instantaneously, without having uh, this really really high chatter uh, device from the edge to the cloud that you're paying a bunch of money for. Finally. The, uh, the governance piece and, and the deliver piece sort of go together. The governance piece is what ties it all, to, all together from the extract uh, all the way up to the, uh, the deliver. And we can, uh, with point and click, um, you know, sort of low code, no code capabilities, we can select down to the attribute where the information goes. And then finally in the deliver uh, uh, kind of concept or phase, uh, this is, this again gets set up one time. Um, if you're sending data to Azure uh, IoT Hub or to uh, AWS IoT Core, three, four pieces of information, a handful of clicks, and you have data flowing. And then again, with that, that, that governance policy laid over the top, uh, you can control to the attribute level what information goes to which cloud. So as we kind of move up this uh, diagram a little bit where we have field dashboards, we have corporate reporting, uh, and we have service providers, this is just a, you know, a way to really highlight that, that we can actually send uh, information from a single asset to multiple locations with different pieces of information uh, in, in, in each what we call uh, governance policy or pipeline. And then again, the Edge Intelligence Control Plane is uh, SaaS based, it's a web based product. So you can do all of this from anywhere uh, independent of where your devices are located. Okay, so let's, we're moving on. Um, let's talk a little bit about how this whole thing sort of comes together. So, you know, we have the devices and things, uh, we also have the Cisco hardware, we have uh, the Cisco management and automation, which takes care of uh, configuring and setting up all of the hardware, as well as all of the data policies, the transformation and governance pieces. Um, so edge intelligence is the way to get started fast. Uh, we do have this uh, IOX product, which is our container based microservices runtime. And uh, if you get to the point where Edge Intelligence just can't do exactly or everything that you're looking to do. Uh, you can actually write your own uh, custom IOX application that can integrate with Edge Intelligence. Now, we see that most customers, really the scripting engine takes care of all of their needs um, from you know decoding binary serial payloads into uh, something that's human readable and can be pushed up um, to the cloud or, or to the data center and interpreted by uh, a data scientist that didn't go um, and hasn't spent you know, a ton of time on the manufacturing floor, understanding all the nuances of each piece of equipment. Really what uh, we do with Edge Intelligence is segment uh, the knowledge that's required. You know, the, the machine information stays at the edge and then uh, normalized data models that are in human readable form are what get pushed up uh, to the cloud. So again, getting started fast, uh, sharing that information consistently across uh, organizations uh, or with your customers is uh, you know, what, what you can do with, with edge intelligence uh, very quickly. In fact, most uh, customers that we have uh, within a couple of hours, they have uh, the equipment installed and they're already uh, reading information from devices and sending that up into the cloud. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of uh, focus areas. So industrial assets, obviously a big one. OE, um, you know, overall equipment efficiency, condition-based monitoring, and uh, digital service products are, are where we see 
uh, machine builders kind of playing in, in those are the most popular use cases that we see for machine builders and, and OEMs. Um, again, you know, popular protocols, OPC UA, EIP, uh, CIP is the, the primary uh, device interface. Distributed assets, think about, you know, in public utilities, think about ports, oil wells, pumps, pipelines, wind turbines, and, uh, and substation transformers typically ends up being, you know, maybe a, a variation of OPC UA, EIP, CIP, but typically we see a lot of Modbus and, uh, and serial interfaces uh, in, in this case as well. And then the roadway and intersection is really, you know, keeping people safe, uh, pedestrian safety, but influencing the uh, traffic signal uh, based on uh, integration with the, uh, with the standard protocol. So edge intelligence with Cisco gear sits inside of the roadside cabinet, integrates with LiDAR sensors, uh, integrates with the traffic controller, and can integrate with emergency vehicles and, uh, and, and buses, transit vehicles as well to do uh, um, vehicle preemption. So again, if emergency vehicle is coming through, uh, you know, it requests a, a green light from the traffic controller. Same thing with uh, city buses and public transit. Uh, as well. And then again, doing that all while, you know, making sure that there's no pedestrians uh, in, in the crosswalk or, or in the intersection at the time that is uh, happening. Okay, so let's, uh, let's keep moving. And uh, again, sort of just to wrap it up, uh, edge data management uh, is edge intelligence, edge, in edge infrastructure is the hardware that we saw. And then we talk about manageability and uh, security, all of the you know sort of goodness of of uh, all of the internet capabilities that Cisco has built over the years, all sort of flow into our hardened uh, edge devices as well. So think of fanless devices, think of uh, industrialized um, you know housings and DIN rail mountable uh, equipment, as well as you know the ability to. Uh, interact both, you know, from the cloud uh, as well as uh, locally because of the edge compute capabilities that we have uh, on, on the hardware. So again, kind of wrapping it up, Cisco can future-proof your IoT investment. Uh, we use a, you know, cloud agnostic uh, edge processing uh, capability. And then again, it's, it's really tightly integrated with one vendor. Uh, so you know you have end-to-end -end security uh, built in from the hardware all the way up to the cloud. I wanted to say thank you for uh, taking the time to, to listen to the presentation. Feel free to uh, to reach out um, if you have any additional questions and uh, have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the show.